Hey everybody, I'm back. I'm back. Alright, so a couple of things is going on. Uh, one is I am like running around frantic. I had to work till 6 p.m. tonight and then I'm taking a vacation to go to Florida. Actually, my plane leaves around 8 o'clock tomorrow to go to Florida for my trip to see my family. But I promised you if I get my Dreamcade replay, I would do an unboxing. And guess what came in the mail? Dreamcade replay. Now, I literally am going to unbox it here. I was going to do a live event, but with everything going on, I wouldn't be able to host the live event and then get ready for the flight. I just can't. And I, and I hate to leave live people talking on the, during the chat and doing a, I hate to do that to people. So instead of, I, I'm doing a pre-recording. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to unbox this thing. And then I'm going to stop the camera just for a moment so I can hook it up. And then I'm going to show you my screen of what it looks like. And that's how we're going to play it from there. I have a video capture card uh, that will somehow capture the the video of it, which should be pretty good. It's an Aver Media one. You know what? Whatever. Let's let's just get started because this is, I've been waiting for this. This woo! we got stuff. All right. Anyway, let's uh, I had to cut my name out of it off of it, guys. I'm sorry if you guys were looking forward to that. With, well, my address, you know, my name. So just my address and stuff. All right. It's like Christmas. Jesus. All right. <laughs> so good. All right. Here it is. Dreamcade replay box, and it's all bubble wrap. Wow. So, my model's a little different than the model that the other YouTube YouTubers have. So, I'm going to show you the sides here. Dreamcade replay, designed by Dream Arcades. And I'm going to show you what this is. So, it's the 128 gigabyte system my camera's free focusing I'm looking at that I'm sorry 128 gigabyte system and it says one terabyte with mount so when I ordered this I ordered the replay but it's gonna have a lot of games oh that had to be fixed so what I did was as a backer they gave us an opportunity to upgrade ourselves and I took the opportunity to do the one terabyte so it's a one terabyte hard drive with the unit so let's take a look inside the box Oh yeah, so you guys can see it. It's the Intel Apollo Apollo Lake, uh, the four gigabyte and the thirty-two gig ROM, uh, Wi-Fi, five gigahertz, and it tells you up to expansion up to two terabytes. But we got one, so it actually works out well. Uh, let's see. I don't want to mess up the box. I want to keep that. I want to keep it like like I do all my other arcade uh, stuff that I have. <laughs> all right. So it says here. One console to rule them all. First edition. Dreamcade replay. From everyone on the team, thank you. Your support of the replay of the replay is uh, po is made possible. You, you so your support made the replay possible. Sorry. First edition. That's just freaking awesome. All right. When you open it up. Oh, I'm going to hit my glasses here. Uh, we have the decals that they did promise us. I'll open those in a minute. The quick setup guide. They, by the way, just to let you know, they sent me an email recently uh, on how to set it up, or at least give them a brace idea of how to set up because it is Windows 10 on here. And I'm this. I guess this is it. Wow, this thing is heavy. I guess they attached the ter the two ter uh, one terabyte hard drive onto it. But let's take a look. Wow, look at this thing. Oh my freaking god what the hell so two usb 3.0 and i uh, and that's i guess another usb a usb there usb here hdmi port rj45 which is the network cable um headphone jacks if you want to have it this right here is the dock now it has a lock and it's already locked in there for me already and it ha but actually, it has two locks. It has one here and one here. So what happens if I was to unlock it? There you go. So the replay that most of you probably would get is the one It would look like this. So your replay would probably look like that. That's what your replay would look like. It's 
fantastic. And oh yeah, by the way, VGA. My dock is like this, and it is heavy. It is heavy loaded, and also the the one terabyte is literally underneath these screws here. She does the same thing. Okay, it tells me about the specs. So it is the one terabyte is here, and it tells you a little bit of the specs of the Dreamcade replay. So it also that has the USB C connector. So you guys can see that as well. It has spots for it, and if you do decide to get it just the replay, which is still fine, you can still get them now. I'll link their their uh, store below so you guys can go check it out. But they also have like you could hang this or lock this on your wall, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna put this back together because we're gonna look at the it's more inside the box. Let's see if there's anything else that I missed. I'm gonna lock this back up. So it's locked now. I'll put this. Let's put it in here for now. All right. So my edition also comes with a. Uh, I guess it's the power cable. No, I know what this is. My edition also comes with a, a, a controller. So I'm gonna open up the controller here, so you guys can check it out. It is. It looks like a wireless controller. But there you go with the buttons. It, 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 you know what it reminds me of mostly? It, it's a more of a feel of the PlayStation 3 controller. I don't know about it vibrating just yet like it, but it, it does say what it is. It says 2.4 gigahertz with PC dongle, 5 volts, 270 milliamps of lithium ion battery. Um, so it does tell you what it basically is. Actually, it's not so bad. It is very lightweight, so uh, something tells me it is not uh, vibration ready. But they did say you can get your own. Uh, so this is the controller that comes with the replay. I had to get that, of course. But I do have the 8 bit controller, which I will be using with this mostly. But I had to. If I'm going to get the set, when you do something, guys, you do it right the first time. That's pretty much what my stance is on it. So, controller. And this is the USB cable that goes with it, so you can charge the, the controller. So that's pretty cool. I'd probably use it to mark it. Oh, by the way, this is probably what I'm going to need. This is the uh, adapter. I'm going to show you the plug the plug adapter. I could see it already. Oh, look. They kept that in the box. This is the dongle they were talking about. So I'm going to put that into the replay so I don't forget it because I'm going to forget everything. So I'm going to put that into the replay. Boom. There you go. So my replay. And uh, I'll show you what I mean by the uh, power adapter. So, so they come with an HDMI cable, which I'm going to put to the side because I really don't need one. I have plenty of them. So I'm going to put it back in the box for now. And here's the power brick they give you for the replay. So that's pretty much what this is. It makes the USB adapter. It's a face that you lock in and makes it to um, the power. So we got the replay and we got the controller and of course the power adapter so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna do two things one I'm gonna hook this thing up and I'm gonna turn the camera back on so you guys can check it out and two uh, we're not gonna use the controller for this I have a keyboard and mouse kind of a deal all in one kind of keyboard and mouse I'll see if I can pop it up right there so you guys can check a look at it uh, I said check instead of take a look at but uh, I'm gonna show you that and um, we're gonna test a couple of things I have the 8 bit arcade stick like I told you guys about it in the last video uh, we're gonna test that today the zapper since I'm getting ready to do a flight I don't have a full test I can't do a full test on the zapper today so in my future video I will make uh, a comeback to the replay and we'll go ahead and check out the zapper with it as well. But you know what? I'm rambling. Let's let me go ahead and, and connect this, and I'll show you guys from start to finish what it looks like. So, hey guys, I'm, I'm sorry. I know I'm gonna get to the hookup real quick, but I forgot to show you guys what came in the the replay. So let's take a look at this first, and then I'll show you the the quick start manual. Alright, so we got, that looks like 
look kind of like some of the Ken and Ryu. This is a Donkey Kong type situation. That's pretty cool. This is a dragon. I think that's pretty cool. Wood grain. If you guys want a root wood grain type. Wanna go army colors? So there you go. Has a dream cage with army colors. And if you're a girl, female army colors. Or a guy. Some guys like it. I mean, this is a pretty cool color, but I wouldn't put it on my replay. I'm not going to put any of these decals on my replay. Uh, I'm probably going to put them back in the box because, frankly, I like the slate black finish that the replay comes off. I wish they, they didn't have it done as subdued as the way they did it. I like the first edition they had where it was like a grayish. It came out like a grayish type. If I have an extra picture of it, I'll pop it up if I have it. I, I do like this one out of all of them if I had a choice. So this one is a possibility that I'll put on my replay, but again, I'm not really jumping to do that. So let me go ahead and put these to the side for now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, this is the quick start guide. So please read this section before you're trying on your replay. So guys, let's let's give Mike and the team the the, the basics of it all. So, uh, wow. All right. Ooh. It's a lot of setting up. It, it, they tell me how to set up the controller. So just plug in your replay. That includes accessories, the controller to your TV monitor, Windows setup screen. So it does the Windows, the Windows 10 load up screen. And it tells you about the extra downloads, stuff like that. So, and it also tells you later on if you want the optional uh, mounting bracket. I'm going to keep it off because I, I want to be able to move my replay. Um... There are several options available to add your own game titles. Retro Reload Search Tool. Use, al use along with our cart app to add games to your own replay. So uh, I'm going to take a look later about that and see if I can get it on there. If I do, I will walk you guys through it. It's probably quick and easy. Uh, retro Reload Streaming. Let's see what this is. This feature is the same as above, but will store not store any games on your replay. Select from a list of supported systems and play them straight from the internet. Use the stream games option in the replays main menu. So this tells you how to transfer your own games. You have your own music player. It talks about the online community, which if you haven't joined it yet, please do so because I have a lot of stuff. They talk about the additional storage. So the, the, so you guys, if you want the additional storage, you can. So there's a one top that says uh, make it your own. While the replay is designed to be playable right from the box, there are many options to customize its appearance and functionality. Which will be pretty cool, because I would like to take a look at that. I like their menu functionality. I was wondering if I can mod that a little bit. We'll see. Um, settings and customizations to add music. If you have nothing on the screen. And if you have any issues, this says contact the community forums and questions. So... They go through a lot of that stuff. Wow. Um, beside that, guys, uh, that's it. I mean, that's all I have. Let's go ahead and check out the connection and see what the deal is. All right, buddy, so we're back. Uh, sorry about the bars that you're seeing right now. Unfortunately, my Aver Media doesn't allow us to... Um, it doesn't allow us to, to do the whole capture. It gets some kind of weird message. I don't know why. So what I'm going to do is, I mean, as you can see, it goes back and forth. I don't know why. So I'm going to go ahead and just blow it back up and give you the best as I can. So it does set up, like I said, uh, as, a, as a media center. So let me see if I can get... Ah, I went to sleep. All right, there we go. So I have my own keyboard. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Look like that. My own little keyboard that I'm using. Uh, there is some. Uh, oh, okay. I'm still getting used to it. It's a brand new keyboard, guys. So please forgive me. So I'm disabling voice chat because uh, personally, I do not care about Cortana. And yes, I'm in the United States. This keyboard is definitely uncomfortable, <laughs> but it's the best one I have for now.
and it sets up pretty much as Windows 10 does, so that's pretty cool. So now it's asking me for my internet connection. Uh, let me see. I'm going to do it anyway. I think I have my connection. Yes, okay, cool. I'm going to put that in as fast as possible, guys. I'm sorry to keep you guys waiting. And uh, Sure. And, my, of course, my internet uh, capture device is getting it. There's a slight delay for me, guys. Unfortunately, like I said, I'm doing it from my capture card, so it's going to give me a delay. So, I mean, the way it looks right now, you know what? It's a little messy in my desk, but I'll show you exactly what it looks like. There you go. It does have the legit blue light to it, the blue hue, and I have everything hooked up, so not so bad. There you go. Not so bad at all. It's asking us about the Windows 10 agreement. Sure. So literally, it's setting. It's like setting up Windows all over again. So much stuff here. Uh, no, I don't care about creating an account because I don't want my account on here. Oh, that account. And no, I don't want to use any of the Windows stuff here. So, who's gonna use it? Gene. Of course, oh, I'm gonna fix that. I hate that, that it looks that. So, Shift J E S. Fantastic. And it's super duper quiet. I don't care about passwords, so I'm skipping that. It is as quiet as can be. That's one of the things I raised with the replay team. Is it is the PC quiet? And the 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 thing they told me was yes. It was extremely quiet. So. I'm very excited um, to do that, to, to, to see that. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I hate uh, Windows. I mean, I don't care about the um, location because if you're going to use it, then why not? Uh, yeah. No. I like how it says Ad ID, which is like for the ads that they have. So. No, and no, I this uh, lo replay does not have a mic, so why would I need spe speech recognition? So definitely, I'm so excited. This thing looks so good. Hey, everybody! All right, so if you're keeping it on a um, a video capture, it's gonna take a few minutes. Do not be nervous. If it takes a few minutes, let it run. Do not unplug it. Let it just go. So here we are. It's just telling us about the legal agreements that they have to tell us. And to be honest with you, I'm not going to read all up through it. So I'm just going to hit accept. And now it's loading the Drinkade replay uh, accept. So it pretty much loads in the background. So let's see what it says here. Type in your replay ID code and click submit to register the device. You can skip this section for now, but certain features will be limited. So uh let's take a look i mean it's on the i'm gonna probably blur it out guys so just let you know i'm gonna probably blur out what's gonna happen so from what i understand uh, if i remember correctly i was reading a little bit while waiting for it to load the id is literally underneath the actual device itself without the hard drive dock so i'm gonna do something really stupid I'm going to unplug the hard drive dock, and there it is. I see it. So I'm going to go ahead and type it in now. Whoa, I'm using the wrong, wrong mouse. Put that over here. Okay. Guys, I'm doing this kind of live. I'm doing a recording, so you're probably seeing... Oh, you're probably seeing me do it as I record so please forgive me I think I'm just gonna keep typing in all 
All right, let's go ahead and submit this. If I did this right, it'll register. If I did it wrong, it's gonna curse me out. Let's see. No, nope, I did it right. Now it's telling me I have to download all the extras, which is pretty much the file. It looks like the supports. Since you guys can't really read it too well, I'm just gonna read it for you. It says games, GameCube support installs required files for GameCube games. PlayStation support uh, required files for PlayStation, required files for 32X, BIOS for various systems, N64 support, SNES support, Dreamcast support, PSP, snapshots, uh, Pico games, Pico, everything's Pico, and then you have the card app. So I'm going to say select all because I want all of them to install, of course. And I, I want to complete the complete thing. So it's going to install every single one, apparently. Can't go wrong. I mean, I, the I, replay ID is pretty cool. Um, it, it pretty much locks it in to it being your console, and that I think is specific, and I like that. I like that about it. So it's in downloading and installing various situations there. That's fine with me. Go right ahead. You know. Hey everybody, so here's what happened. It loaded right into the replay. After it downloaded all the updates and did all the little Pico and all the other stuff, it downloaded the replay and then it wanted me to uh, do the controller. So this is what it does. It doesn't recognize it right away, the controller, which is fine, but I noticed that it would not take my NES30 arcade stick, the one I custom did, only because for some reason, I mean, it, it found the other one. It found, like, the 8 bitto one I have here. It found this one. Um, cool, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted this one to work. So, I said to myself, there's got to be some way of updating this, right? Yes. So, in the app, when you first start it up, I recommend that you guys go directly to where it says, after you program your controller, wherever it be, whether it be this one or this one, I recommend you going straight into the menu after you upgrade it and go into update. So it does find one right here, and it says I'm on system type replay, the current version is replay 1.1, and they're saying that there is an update available. Do your updates, guys. Always do your updates. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to get give it a chance to do an update. Because you never know, maybe they came out with some settings. Hopefully, they came out with a settings for this. If not, I'm sure that either it's going to do it or it's going to do it in the future. It's up to you. Up to them, I should say. It keeps saying USB uh, buttons. It's talking about this kind of my keyboard, so I'm just going to hit escape for now. And I'm going to connect my arcade stick and try one more time if it doesn't work then I'll go ahead and I'll figure out something later so settings and controllers see that's the thing I, I really don't know um, oh there it goes so it did find the other one I'm going to see if I can try to select it with the keyboard and mouse. It may not go that way, though. Mm. It makes you confirm everything. So then it asks you for the picture. Uh, we're going to go down the picture list. So it's got Xbox One. It's got... Wow. Uh, so Nintendo, Nintendo Dogbone, the Nintendo American version, the uh, PlayStation controller, the actual American uh, Nintendo controller, N64 controller. Uh, I I think this is for the Wii controller, or not Wii, uh, Nintendo Switch controller, that's what it looks like for me. Uh, the 8 bitto one I showed you earlier, and then of course the replay version of it. So they do not have my arcade stick or any arcade stick for this matter so um, I'm sure that I can program this within the emulator but for now let's just get into the games 
It comes preloaded with certain games. Uh, let's take a look. All right, guys. So we're back. Uh, so I, I got a hang of it. I figured out how to make this work. Uh, for now, uh, I'm connected USB because the, the battery has to charge. The battery's kind of dead on this. It's not so bad. Uh, I tested uh, one or two arcade games, but I wanted to go ahead and get another game on here. So what we're going to do is you're going to go on your list here, and as you add games, it tends to unlock or open up uh, the emulator. So when I added an arcade game, it actually opened up that arcade game and then gave me all the settings that it had for arcade games. So that's pretty cool. So let's go with adding a new game. Now, this is like internet library, so it's going to be pretty much whatever they have. So if there's a game that you want specifically, they may or may not have it. I have to play with the settings inside the arcade, a uh, Dreamcade to get it going and also I, I took this off the hard drive so I had to put that back on alright so um, look, just like everybody else I really want to know if GoldenEye works which is the N64 game so let's see if it finds it it does have it By clicking, you are certified that you own or have legal rights to access this title. I do own it. I have a complete box copy of this game. Um, it, again, it's part of the uh, archive, so that's fine, I guess. I don't know what this is. I'm just going to click on it. I'm going to click on you. Oh, there it is. It's downloading the files. So I'm going to close this out. Let's see if we give it a second to download while it's doing that. And there it is at the bottom. See how it says added an N64 game? This is going to be the only N64 game that this arcade or this Dreamcade has. So let's go ahead and select it. And uh, you can cu customize controls on here if you, in case you don't want it to have it. Uh, I'm going to have to play around because I do want my arcade stick to work. So I'm going to have to take a look at the contro custom controls for Dreamcade. Anyway, let's get started. So it even tells you on the controller, well, this is L, this is going to be Z, this is going to be up, down, left, and right, analog stick. I like that. That's pretty cool. So this is the first time it's loading GoldenEye, so let's see what happens. Or maybe? I don't know. Let's see. I should have tried it before I, I put this back on, but whatever. Oh! There we go. That looks pretty good. It actually loaded pretty well. I'm very excited. I love this game when I was growing up as a kid. Select mission. Sure. Uh, no, I'm gonna be a a wimp and just do agent. So let's see how it looks as far as the video is concerned. So, nine years ago, okay. So far, so good. All right. It's a little lag, but not much that's noticeable. It's definitely something. Ah! <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, it's definitely difficult to play with the official arcade stick. I mean, the Dreamcade stick. But I have. <laughs> I I'm prepared. I actually have an N64 USB which I'll have to program later, but I do have one, so that's pretty cool. So I have one. Anyway, to get out of a game, because I'm sure you want to get out of it, you hit Start Select, and it throws you right back out. So, let's play one arcade game, at least one before I end uh, my video today, because I have to get ready to go, guys. So, 
Uh, by the way, Dream Arcades is the arcades that came with the pre-order. Uh, when you back them, they gave us some arcade games to play. That's one of them. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I do Darkstalkers. I love Darkstalkers when I was growing up as a kid. Uh, ah! I did it already. So All right, so we're going we're gonna to reset so you guys can see it. So, so in order to start this up, again, it's automatically preloaded into the replay. So you hit start and it inserts coins. Well, it's supposed to. Let me see. Maybe I did it wrong. Oh, wait. There we go. Select. I'm sorry. After you hit start, then you enter the game. You hit start. No. So let's do slow because I'm, I'm not good at this and I have a delay. And I'll play with, I'll play with my girl, Morgan, who is flighting Felicia, apparently. Late. It actually does move really well. Ah! Ah! I'm one of those guys that like to jump around. Again, I, I I like this game. I mean, I like the fact that we can play arcade games. I just wish I can play with my fight stick. Get out of here! Beating you up. Oh, you're beating me up. Alright. Anyway, so we get the idea. I got my butt kicked. Quit. Alright, so beside those, I'm going to show you some more stuff on the menu here. Let's go to media this time. And in media, it tells you Hulu, Amazon Prime, YouTube, Twitch, and Netflix. Uh, I like Twitch. Let's select Twitch. What happens when I select Twitch? What happens then? What does it do? This is all new, guys. So, wow. So it it, it actually brings up the menu and gives you an idea. So, wow, that's actually pretty cool. You could still use the arcade stick, by the way, guys. Just to point out, you could still use the stick they have. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah. And then you can use the buttons to select whatever you want. So that's pretty cool. It gives you an idea how to, to, to use it that way. What happens if I hit start select on this? What happens then? It throws it out. So just to give you an idea, guys, this actually is not a bad a multimedia console. It gives you what you want. Um, what's the card app? What happens then? Download games that you have registered to your replay cent central account. So what happens when I select that? Oh, so it allows me to log in. And okay, okay, so that's that's something I can check out later. Well, on this you can't do a, uh, but you can still use the key, uh, the controller as a mouse. Not bad, not bad at all. Actual PCs. Oh, that's another thing. So my friends that that love UK stuff, here you go, guys. ZX Spectrum, Kieran, Odyssey Two, Commodore sixty four. Apple 2 and 1 and that's basically it I, I want to see what happens if I was to select Commodore 64 so it gives you star command but no file is loaded okay so no file needed what happens if I did uh, Apple S start Apple so you have to add your own Apple stuff it looks like too uh, it's not so bad that makes sense so there you go guys uh, pinball no, not PlayStation. We already know what that's about. Pinball. Octopus Island or Dia de la Muertos. Okay. Uh, it's okay. Day of the Dead or something like that, guys. That's what that means. Either way, you guys get it. Dream K Replay. So happy that's here. A lot of stuff has to go into this, it looks like, as far as... One, to program my arcade stick. That's the main thing. I need to get this on there. The two, it's going to be interesting um, to get the zapper on there. I'm going to get the zapper on there. Just not today. Not in this episode of, of Gamer's Vault. Probably in the future ones, I will be revisiting. There's a lot of stuff that I had to do 
to get this to work, and I can feel myself getting more and more adequate with this. Once I get more stuff installed, I'll get back onto this, guys, and we'll go ahead and go deep. We'll deep dive deeper into the replay. But for now, this was just a, a, a broad stroke to get you guys to look at it and check it out and see what happens. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you loved um, let me go ahead and bring myself back up because that's rude that I'm, I'm so it's like a small box here. Sorry. There we go. I'll lock it like this. There we go. <laughs> if you loved uh, this, thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Tell me what you want to see on the replay. What questions you may have with it because I can help you out. Or um, there's something you want me to try. I could do that too. Put that down below as well. Thumbs up this video if you did like it, if it did help you. If it didn't, I'm sorry, but again, you can put it down below. Don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on my Twitter or uh, on my Twitch. I do that too. And probably will, when I do Twitch, I'll probably will do the replay as well. So somehow, i got to figure out how to get it on there. The capture card is cool, but there are certain things I have to mess with that as well. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you. thank you for coming, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Classic gaming never goes out of style, and if you're like me, the games you grew up playing hold a special place in your heart. Unfortunately, getting these timeless consoles playing on your new smart TV can be almost impossible. I'm Michael Ware and I'm excited to reveal a special project we've been working on here at Dream Arcades. Never again worry about connecting consoles, finding cartridges, or configuring emulators. Introducing the latest addition to the Dreamcade family, the Dreamcade Replay, a universal vintage gaming console. Now you can easily enjoy all your favorite classics on one machine. The Replay is simple to connect, supports numerous retro controllers, even wireless authentic arcade controls. Each console not only comes loaded with over 100 licensed classics like Ms. Pac-Man, Centipede, and Breakout, but you can easily download thousands more, making this the ultimate retro arcade. The Replay Mobile's 6-hour battery life takes gaming on the go to a whole new level. And to connect it to your TV, just use the included HDMI cable. The Dreamcade Replay is loaded with classic console emulators ready to play. And with Dream Arcade's exclusive retro reload software, it's simple to add your favorite games from almost any console. Dream Arcade's open platform enables advanced users to add emulators, create custom themes, and share games with friends. Yet, it's simple enough for kids to play. But the replay doesn't stop with just video games. From Netflix to Steam, Windows 10 works with all your software, games, and apps, making the replay an entertainment powerhouse. By utilizing the newest embedded processor technology, we've integrated dozens of platforms into a small, affordable console that represents the next generation of classic gaming. The hardware and software designs are complete, but we need your help to produce the injection molds and finalize the online experience. With more than 12 years building retro gaming goodness and a proven track record, our dedicated team has the knowledge and expertise to handle large-scale manufacturing and ensure customer satisfaction. Our drive for excellence is fueled by our passion for retro gaming and your ongoing support. We're excited about the replay, but to bring it to life, we need your help. As a thank you, we're offering special one-time pricing available only on Kickstarter. So if you love retro gaming as much as we do, we urge you to be one of the first to own the Dreamcade Replay and secure your spot in the retro revolution.